Welcome to Trading Car Boss. Today I thought, because we're still here, I would do Alcatraz Prisoner Mugshots and Records. Uh, something a little bit different. Normally do trading cards and stickers on there, but I've had this for ages and I really wanted to share it with you. So this has got all the Prisoner Mugshots and Records. Could prove to be quite interesting for you. It's got the Wardens, the Guards, the Statistics, Slang and Cell Blocks in 45 Backfield back -field cards, uh, Alcatraz prison cars, 2005, Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy, made in the USA. Uh, the cars will look something like that when we get them. Uh, I'll show the front and the back of the cards. In the description, hopefully, I will find a link so you can buy these if you really fancy like uh, buying them. As you know, on this channel now, we're going to have to go a bit uh, adult orientated due to the fact that uh, we've got restrictions on kiddie stuff, unfortunately. So, something a little bit different. Let's have a look at the front cover. Bought this in the second-hand shop and thought it'd be nice to share with you. So we've got the first one then. Let's get out the first card. And we have got Warden James A. Johnson, 1934 to 1948. Great picture of him in black and white. All the pictures are on here. He was the four, first warden of USP Alcatraz. His name was James A. Johnson. Certainly had a few escape attempts there. Hopefully you'll be able to read that. Next picture we have got. We have got the armory officer with prison keys. All oh, those big keys on there. Looking amazing. Uh, correctional officers with keys and cells. Next one we have got. That is upside down. There we go. The prisoner contraband. We well, obviously didn't check them very well. Look at this. Look at the stuff that they used to smuggling to Alcatraz. Unbelievable. Correctional officers' duties, cell search shop breakdown as i say i won't read the whole of the back it's a brilliant lovely view of view down broadway if you hope you like that that's a great view through all the cells let me know in the comment section have you been to alcatraz love to go there one of my dreams alcatraz trail alcatraz cell blocks block a b c general population blocks d was solitary confinement block D segregation cells block D block the hole and block uh, D block strip cell. That's interesting. Uh, prisoners line up in the recreation yard for work assessments. What's it say on the back of that? Oh, just all the different things there. All the uh, different convict slang. The academy was called a jail. Beating the gums, talking, screaming and shouting. Boogeyman, turnkeys, the screw. The butcher, the captain of the guards, the cell, uh, the inmate housing unit, etc. Well, we'll have getting a copy of this if you can. Probably second hand somewhere you'll get this. The clothing factory, didn't even know they had a clothing factory on Alcatraz. Uh, Alcatraz Prison Industries. You get uh, different wages as well. Interesting. And we've got the guard tower. Correctional officers positions. Tower positions. As I said, something a little bit different. What we've got in this one. We have got the guards examine prisoners clothing and collect shackles. Hope you can see that. Intake procedures, receiving prisoners on Alcatraz. Ah, that's a nice picture there of the correctional officers with Deputy Warden Cecil J. Shuttleworth. Correctional officers and stations. I won't read for all of that. And we've got prisoner's cell. Interesting uh, setup there. What you get in there, uh, just a quick run through, you get uh, one Bible, two library books, two magazines, one regular ration book, 
one letter file, pictures of relatives only, a pair of reading glasses, toothbrush, tooth powder, comb, two towels, face in the bath, uh, one cake, soap, drinking cup, one shaving cup with soap and brush, a nail clipper, medicine issued only by the doctor, etc, etc. Probably more than what you get nowadays. Let's have a look at the next picture. We have got a picture. I'll be coming on to the uh, I'll be coming on to the uh, the inmates in a minute, so don't go anywhere. Pris prisoners leaving cells. USP Alcatraz statistics. Black was uh, two hundred eighty two. Native American twenty four. Other eighteen. White one hundred uh, one thousand two hundred fifty two. Uh, next one. The Warden Olin Guy Blackwell from 1961 to 63. The fourth and last Warden of Alcatraz. Interesting. Well, who we got? Probably out of order here. Yeah? Paul Joseph Mang Madgalen, 1955 to 61. Third Warden of Alcatraz. And we've got. Uh, Edwin Burnham Swoop, 1948-55, to 55, was the second warden of Alcatraz. Interesting. Now we're coming on to the bits you've all been waiting for. The prisoners. Let's have a look. Famous man, this one. You should know who he is. Alfonso Capone. Al Capone. Number 85 was his record number. From USP Atlanta. Age 35. That's all about what he's done there. Final whereabouts died 1947 for complications brought on by syphilis. Then we've got Henry Kenneth Larry, number 95. This is every single uh, prisoner that was ever in Alcatraz. From USP Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, is it? Age 27, what did he do? Violation of postal laws, stealing mail. Sentenced to six years. How long was Al, Al Capone actually in prison for? Ten years. And a £37,617 and £51, $51 fine. And we have got Roy Gardner, USP Leavenworth. He's number 110. And robbery of males. Sentenced to a grand total of 50 years in prison. Where did he die? Committed suicide in San Francisco in 1940. Then we got George R. Kelly. I would have thought this is a machine gun Kelly. Am I right? A.K.A. Machine Gun Kelly. Offence was kidnapping... Sentenced to life, escape attempts known, died in 1954, Machine Gun Kelly. And we got number 210, Joe Bowers, USP uh, Leavenworth, 25 years, postal laws and robbery, died aged, died April 27, 1936, during an ex escape attempt. Hmm. Then we have got James C. Lucas, 224, age 22. National Bank Robbery, Dire Act, Murder, First Degree, Two Life Sentences, died December 1998. So he did survive. Then we've got Henry, Henry Young, so his uh, nickname was Henry. USB McNeil Island, where it's where he was from. Uh, robbery and nation, of National Bank, 20 years sentence, final whereabouts, parole in 1972. From Walla Walla State Prison in Washington, where he was doing time for a murder committed prior to his time in Alcatraz. Jumped to parole in 1973. And he was unaccounted for. So, interesting there. Then we have got John K. Giles. Uh, number 
Postal violation assaulting custodian sentenced to 25 years plus three years consecutive years for attempted escape. Final whereabouts died in 1979. Then we've got Theodore Cole, 258. Uh, kidnapping, 50 years in prison, unaccounted for. Don't know what happened to him. Did he escape? I think he tried to escape, if I remember. Oh, yeah. Escape attempt 1937 with Ralph Rowe. They sold through a window and bar with Model Industries been building, squeezed through it and disappeared into waters at the time of heavy fog. This, this att escape attempt shattered Alcatraz's escape-proof image. So thanks to him, I think they eventually closed it. Here we got Ralph Rowe, 260, uh, 99 years in prison and a $3 fine. Uh, National Bank robbery armed, unaccounted for. He uh, escaped with Theodore Cole and they were never seen again. Mm, interesting. Then we got... Uh, Thomas Limerick, USP Leavenworth, uh, number 263, sentenced to life, National Bank robbery and kidnapping, died from injuries received during escape in May 23rd, 1938. That's a funny one, they got a side on there. Rufus Roy McCain, 267. Uh, National Bank Robbery Kidnapping Dire Act, sentenced to 99 years and a $500 fine. Uh, the 12th of the 3rd, 40, died on Alcatraz from a stab wound inflicted by Henry Young. And we got Arthur Barker, 268. Life in prison, conspiracy, conspiring to transport kidnapping person died in Alcatraz hospital at 5 45 p.m. January 13 1939 from gunshot wounds received while attempting to escape interesting and then we got uh, Alvin Karpovic is it it's 325 since the life conspiracy is conspiring to kidnap and transport Committed suicide in 1979. Then we got Rufus Whitney Franklin, 335. A bank robbery, national motor, motor vehicle theft, NMVTA, assault, first degree murder. Final whereabouts paroled on October 20, October 29. 1974, died on May the 27th, 1975. So he didn't live that much longer. And then we've got William Martin, 370. P.O. assault and robbery armed. 25 years in prison. Hope you can see that. Uh, no information. And then we've got... Bernard Paul Coy, 415. We've got uh, bank robbery, violation of National Motor Theft, Vehicle Theft Act. Flight from state to avoid prosecution, 25 years and five day days. Final whereabouts after a gun battle with officers found dead of gunshot wounds, 5th of the 4th, 1946. And utility utility corridor block C block about nine forty five a.m. Interesting. That was Bernard Paul Coy. Then we've got uh, Dale Stamp Hill four hundred and thirty five kidnapping sentenced to life died September the twenty second nineteen ninety eight. We've got Richard, uh, sorry, Sam Richard Stockley, 462, sentenced to life imprisonment, 
uh, final escape uh, whereabouts executed 2nd and 3rd 1914 8 1948 at San Quentin then we have got Arnold Thomas Kyle uh, one national bank robbery two escape three murder sentenced to life imprisonment uh, final whereabouts died at 11th of the 30th 1980 and then we got Joseph Paul Kresler Kretzler 548 he was a uh, bank robbery was number one escape murder in the second degree Sa sentenced to 25 years five years and life oh, he wasn't, wasn't really lucky final whereabouts dead gunshot wounds 5th of the 4th 1946 utility corridor c block because after an escape attempt then we have got Elliot Mil Michener, 578. He was counterfeiting, sentenced to 30 years in prison. Final whereabouts died the 5th, 17, This is the first, uh, <coughs> this is the next one is a very famous man, Robert Franklin Stroud, 500 and 94. I'll give you a few minutes just to think who he is. He is, I would have thought, the bad man of Alcatraz. Ten, May the 10th, 1920, life. Escape attempt none. Final whereabouts died November the 21st, 1963. Yep. Unsanitary condition from this man's bird breeding activities. Robert Franklin Stroud. So if you get that in a quiz question, that's the bird man of Alcatraz. Then we have got Marvin Franklin Hubbard. 645. Transporting, kidnapping, kidnapping persons, stolen autos, firearms, interstate commerce. Found dead with a gunshot wound 5446 in Utility Corridor C Block. Then we got Clarence Carnes, 714. And he was done for kidnapping, escaped custodial uh, custody in US from US Marshal. Died in Springfield MO in 1968. And then we got uh, Moran Elgar, Edgar Thompson, 729. He was kidnapping National Motor Vehicle Theft Act, life sentence executed in the gas chamber, 12th of the 3rd, 1948, in San Quentin State Prison. And then we have got Frank Lee Morris, 1,441, sentenced to 14 years. Final whereabouts, unaccounted for, FBI notice, wanted by the FBI, escaped federal, prison, federal prisoner, bank robber, Frank Lee Morris, FBI number, etc. Description aged, 35. Five height five foot seven weight hundred and thirty five pounds hazel eyes black hair undefined marks tattoos devil's head on the upper arm and a star on each knee and a base of the left thumbs. Don't know what ever happened to him, he disappeared. And then we got Clarence Elgin one thousand four hundred and eighty five. Um we got his offence was bank robbery and attempted escape from USP Leavenworth. 17 years. Unaccounted for FBI notes. Wanted by the FBI. Escaped federal prison. Uh, bank robber. Clarence Elgin. FBI number, etc. Description 31. Height 5 foot 11. Weight 167 pounds. Hazel Brown. 
eyes, hair brown, complexion light, race white, unidentifying marks, zona tattooed on the left wrist, Nita on the right forearm. Another one that went missing. I think they would have done his picture again, wouldn't you? And then we've got uh, Joseph, John William L. Angeline, 1,476. Um, the sentence to 10 years, unaccounted for, a fire notice wanted for the by the FBI for escaped federal prisoner, bank robber, John William Algen, uh description 32, height 5'10", weight 140 pounds, blue eyes, hair blonde, complexion light, race white, unidentifying Identifying remarks, small scar on the left side of the cheek, round scar on the left side forehead. So these ones all have tried to escape, if I remember rightly. And they didn't, never found them again. And the last card, Lloyd H. Barkdoll, 423. Life in prison, national bank robbery, uh, final whereabouts, March 50 died on Alcatraz from a heart attack. So there we go. That is the Alcatraz Prisoner Mugshots and Records. Something a little bit different, isn't it? Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe by pressing the little bell icon and um, a little uh, thing in the middle there. And don't forget, uh, we'll be back to normal with some other different things. So happy collecting.